This is like my winter fashion wish list if I had unlimited money. When I fantasize about an outfit, these pieces come to play. I did a poll looking down at my phone, sorry. A whopping 17 of you voted. Let's begin. I mean, this is a really fun list. I've been compiling it for longer than I thought I was. My screen might be too bright, but... I screenshot things all day long. Just screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. I have uh, 6,678 screenshots on my phone right now. I separated them into categories. Hopefully that's okay with you. If not, don't care. Should have voted in the poll. First category. Hats and beanies. I mean, it's winter, it's cold, your face gets cold, ears get cold, you need a hat, you need a beanie. I also make hats out of my scarves, like the balaclava scarf hat folding trick thing. I don't really love hats that much, but they are very uh, necessary. Number one, we have the Arcteryx beanie. The color I specifically like is the red one. I think a beanie can be fun to add a pop of something to your outfit. A lot of times in winter, it can be hard to incorporate colors because there's so much layering going on that sometimes color scheme can get a little lost. A lot of times I choose a lot more monochrome outfits just because it can be overwhelming to layer. So if I'm rushing and it's cold and I need to put on 10 pieces of clothing just to survive walking outside, I'm probably gonna pick something that's all one color. So I love to have a beanie that breaks up that pattern and I think this is the cutest one. I love how it's thin and floppy. Sometimes beanies can be a little too thick. It just makes my head look big. I feel like I have a big head. I don't know, but makes it feel bigger. Next, the Paloma Wool Balaclava I think is adorable. I think it's perfectly sized. I have a couple scarves over there that I make balaclavas out of. There's a lot of extra fabric that ends up all in this region because there's just so much looping and tying and things going on that the Paloma wool one is just like perfectly suited for exactly what it is. I think that's what's so nice about it. It's also obviously wool and their quality is really good. I picked the cream color, but I do love the one that's like this kind of wine color that they have. Gorgeous, love Paloma wool. Next, I found this one from an Instagram ad. Sometimes Instagram ads really hit the mark, you know? The brand is Damson Matter. I'm gonna link all this stuff, don't worry. This was really unique. I'm not really sure if they're like a small brand, but I looked around on their website and they had a lot of unique looking things that had that kind of like small brand feel. You don't really see it everywhere and it feels more personal. I don't know if this is knit or crochet. I don't really know the difference. The colors of this could go with a lot. Super cool. Last, I put some gloves in this category because like hats, gloves, you know, they go together. It's also from Damson Matter. They have these really cute, I don't know what these like half, like fingerless gloves, you know? But they have this cute stitching that says, as DM, I guess, for their brand name, and then a flower on one hand. I love the white cuff around the edge. Gloves can really, even though they're very subtle detail, they add a lot, like just to have that peeking out of your big coat, and it's like something that's like a little unique, it just creates interest, where otherwise it would just be like some normal gloves that you don't really look at. I don't know, at least for me, I'm a glove stalker. I look at people's gloves and I'm like, especially if you have a cool pair, like, trust me, I'm looking. <laughs> Next category, tops. I have a lot in the tops category, so bear with me, but they're all really good. I tried to like go all over the place. Some sweaters, some jackets, some regular tops. Number one, this fitted sweater. I think I found this on Pinterest. It's the brand Orson Iris. I think they're based in New York. I love the cinched part of it. If they made that sweater in this color, I would have bought it immediately, but they don't. And they also are out of a lot of sizing, I think just cause it's really popular. So I haven't bought it. I don't think I'm going to, but I really, really do like it. Looks so feminine and girly. It's a way to get just like a nice silhouette and also wearing a comfy sweater, you know? Cause sometimes you lose a lot of shape when you put on a big baggy sweater, which is great some days. Say you're going to like a fancier dinner, a sweater can almost feel very casual in a lot of ways. And I think this is like an elevated way to design a sweater. So I think that's fire. Orson Iris is also a really cool brand, but this is probably like my favorite piece of theirs. Next, I've been obsessed, but this is something I am not gonna buy. A Marnie sweater. I don't know if it's mohair. I don't think it's mohair. I don't know. It might be, I'm not really good with the fabric. Marnie just has the best sweaters. I love their stripes, you know. I love stripes. Me and stripes are like this, like Spongebob, the best time to wear a striped sweater, you know? But this one has like a really deep V. Also a nice way to make a sweater look more feminine and fitted and have a nice silhouette compared to just like a straight like 
Sometimes when you buy a sweater like that with a big pattern that's like very bold and I end up hating the sweater pretty quick like it's not new to me anymore and I just like I loved it the day I got it now that I've worn it 20 times I'm like this is so boring. I thought this one was cool because it was a little more basic but it was still that material that I think they do really well. Next I found this off Princess Polly. I haven't shopped on Princess Polly since I was like probably 14, 15, 16. I don't even know how I found this, but I stumbled across this Princess Polly top. Again, it's this like wine color. I know, I know, I know, I know, but it's just, it's so good right now, you know? <laughs> I love the lace v-neck. It's almost like a cross between, it's like a fitted version of like the lace. What is that type of thing called? Slip, like a slip top. I have a couple. The thing I don't like, sometimes you can just be like swallowed in it. Like there's no shape, especially if it's not like a great neckline. It can just look a little off. This one is like a fitted slip top in a way. I love the back with like the v-neck lace going down. I just think that's so nice. It looks really soft. I don't know. I just totally would wear this. Like if I'm going out in the winter, this would be my go-to going out top. Next, also off Princess Polly, they got me here. I used to have a top that was exactly like this it was a button down but super cinched and fitted in the middle i freaking i think i sold it or ugh, i did something i definitely i don't think i have it unless it's like at my closet at home i'd be so happy if it's actually still there but it's probably not <laughs> It's a dressy top, but the same type of way, like a men's button down shirt can swallow you. But I love that look too, but I find myself veering more towards men's styles with like a feminine shape. And I think this top does that really well. I really regret giving away my top that I had that was just like that. So this is an ode to her wherever you are. Next, this brand is called Nude Project. I think they're based in Madrid. I found them when I was living in Madrid earlier this year. They had like a storefront. Every time I went in, they always just had like hoodies, t-shirts, jeans. They had cute stuff like matching sets and everything. I never got anything, but I was looking on their website. They had the cutest fucking denim set. What I love about them is they show their pieces on their website with male and female models. So you can kind of tell because sometimes a lot of streetwear brands, the fits and the shapes and everything are very male focused. So it's hard sometimes to tell what it's gonna look like, especially with jeans. That crotch can really do you so dirty sometimes. So. I I love this denim set. I love, what's it called? A Canadian tuxedo, but I think it's hard to find a matching Canadian tuxedo that's not very basic. This is perfect. It's like almost like a denim bomber jacket. I think the patchwork is so cute. I don't know if that's patchwork or just the stitching. The dye is perfect. And then the two patches on the back of the jeans, like, oh, I would love to wear that. I would wear that all the time. So shout out to New Project. Also on their website, I found this puffer, which I think is so cute. I love the color of it. From what I can tell, I think the hood almost is like a balaclava because you see how it's like this. So I think if you zip it all the way up, it would cover a good portion of your face, which is so nice to have that in a jacket. I love the puffiness, but also the kind of breakup of that typical like puff pattern they have with this little stitching here and then the pockets, almost like an acid wash, green, beautiful, lovely. They have it listed as fall puffer. So I think that means that it's a little bit more lightweight. I'd probably get it in a couple sizes bigger so that I could fit a bunch of puffy stuff underneath this is such a unique puffer jacket so cool next I found another unique puffer jacket I think sometimes I get bored with puffers because it's just one huge piece of like a solid color fabric I'll like put a lot of work into like all the pieces that go underneath and you put the puffer on top and it's just like Bleh. it's all covered up by this jacket and the jacket's nothing special kind of goes to waste so I was like let me find some like unique but also easily stylable puffer jackets sorry had to this one's really cool. The brand is This Never That. I think they're also like a streetwear brand. Super cool puffer. I love the patchwork. The colors are really muted. Some red, some purple, some blue. There's a lot that this jacket could go with. And if I saw this jacket on somebody, I'd be like, what the fuck? That's sick. So love that one. Next is the brand No Maintenance. I believe also like a streetwear brand. I'm so sorry if they're not and I'm just spewing lies. This alpaca hoodie. First of all, I love navy. My two favorite colors for this season, wine red, navy blue. Beautiful. This looks like the most comfy hoodie ever made. I want it so bad. On its own, the picture gets me, but the person who's wearing it in this picture is just really selling it. They look so cozy. The hood looks like such a nicely, like the perfect hood. You know how hoods sometimes 
can be too small and they're not really meant to be worn up this looks like a hood that is designed to be worn up it looks so cozy it looks like a blanket hoodie next category is accessory so like glasses bags jewelry emma chamberlain's warby parker collab i think she dropped like four or five maybe but my favorite ones are lani and then duran i would be more comfortable buying the duran one because that's a shape that i normally wear more often it's so hard to buy glasses online glasses is something you cannot trust reviews on i can't buy glasses online if i do they have to be cheap so that if they look bad i know it's okay sometimes i love the shape of glasses i love the huge big frame rectangle glasses but when i put them on my face i'm like oh no it's not for me regardless i love those two pairs from her collection next from i buy direct they're a huge glasses company don't really know like much about them other than the fact that they have a ton of fucking glasses and a ton of colors a ton of different styles i found this pair they look to me like they're a smaller version of the big rectangle frames that like come down to like literally your nose line these look like a smaller version of that and they have the yellow tint i just think these are so cool they look like they're really good quality they have a lot of good reviews Seems good to me. Next is Lexola. They're a super cool glasses brand. They're definitely a little more expensive. But like I said, if I had unlimited money, I would buy at least five different pairs from Lexola. I love their colors, the style. Mm, best glasses. Next for bags. This was also an Instagram ad, so I can't really vouch for the brand other than the fact that it looks like a very nicely shaped bag. I love the forest green color. Super structured bags are like really in right now. I've been liking a bigger sized bag just because a lot of days I like a bag that I can take to school with me. So my laptop in it and like a few other things. Also to work, I have to bring like a change of clothes. I've just been reaching for a big bag every day because there's a lot of things I need to just carry around. I actually can't really tell how big it is, but I love the color. Color. I love a good leather bag right now. Next is Suzy Lola's collection with Enroot jewelry. I think they also did one with Colleen Diaz, which I love her. So they're a really cool brand, but she has the most adorable. I think they're called the Miffy earrings. At first I saw them in like the dangly style, which I think is the picture up here, but they also have that little bow as a stud. I wear like a small hoop, but like the way I wear earrings is I put my earrings in and I don't take them out. I don't take them out to shower. I don't take them out if I like jump in the pool or something. So they need to be safe safe from turning and they also can't be so baggy that I can't sleep in them. That's why I think the stud is chef's kiss. Next is bottoms. This is a stingy category. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be very honest. Pants in the winter. I don't know. I struggle picking winter pants. It just feels like sometimes there's not a lot you can do and I think in the past winters I've bought a lot of pants that they're not everyday. They're not very wearable pants. Like the parachute pant trend that was going on. I love my parachute pants but they're just not that convenient for like everyday setting. Like you go to school and your pants are like it's just causing a lot of ruckus, you know? They're a good statement, not very practical. The most practical pants that I have found this winter, I actually have a pair of these, but I want more. The BDG Bella baggy jean is the best baggy jean I've ever had. Normally, I thrift my baggy jeans. The worst part about thrifting baggy jeans is the waist and the crotch. If those two things aren't right, then it just doesn't, it's not, mm. I know Motel Rocks also has a really popular baggy jean style, but I love the BDG ones. They come in like the coolest washes. I love that like wash that has like a little bit of a green tint. The one I have is the dark wash. Last is shoes. These first ones might be a little controversial. Also, I think these were an Instagram ad. Huh. And sometimes things look a lot better on Instagram ads. I don't know. Let me know what you think about these. It's these Merrill hiking boots. Obviously, Merrill is like a hiking brand. My mom got me a pair of these back in like eighth grade because she was doing a lot of hiking. So she got me these hiking boots. It's funny because I saw them then and I was like, ew, like these are such mom shoes, like hiking mom shoes. I don't want hiking boots. And now five years later, I'm like, oh my God, these are so cute. I would wear these. I recognize the irony. I also recognize the granola-ishness of it all but i know that they'd be good for snow and just like a sturdy winter shoe i don't have winter shoes really i just wear my sneakers in the winter so i'm like how could things change if i really had like a good winter shoe and i think a hiking boot is like is that does that translate i don't know i love this colorway i could wear a lot of outfits with the hiking boot i don't know is that weird um last is these new balance sneakers there's a bunch of different styles i have a pair right now i was trying to like save money when i bought them so i bought the kid size but i was like fuck it i'll just make it work now i'm really mad that i did that if i wear them for a really long time i get a toe cramp yeah i know i want a chunkier style and something with more color last 
On this lovely list, of course, is gonna be a little wine red moment because I think that's been the overarching theme. They're square toed ballet flats. I'm not gonna get a pair. I know that I probably won't like them on me, but I love how they look. If I had unlimited money, I would buy a pair and try. I like the shape of them. First of all, I think the square toe is really cool. I love that they're like a shiny red. It's giving. We're not in Kansas anymore. Wizard of Oz. Dorothy's gonna click our heels. But when I read a little further, the other thing about a ballet flat that doesn't mix with New York is the walking. You wear a ballet flat and you have to walk the normal daily amount that is just required to get anywhere. You're gonna have like the foot cramp of the century. Just terrible. These, however, I think are built. They have some type of specific like padding and they're good for your arches. I don't know. It could be total bullshit, but at least they tried, you know. I think these would probably be more comfortable than your average ballet flat. They also look like they have a pretty thick base. If I had to get a ballet flat, I would get these. I'm leaning forward because I'm like tapping on my thing. So I hope it's not like, if I had to get a ballet flat. <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, I have to show you my teddy bear socks. Best things ever. I've been wearing these every day. Happy winter. I'm going to make like a winter outfits video at some point, but I want to get a little deeper into the winter before I do that. Thanks for voting on my poll if you voted. And next time, now you know. See ya.